Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Wasteland, where last time we raided the Navtech Research Center, and we were able to breed ourselves a super mutant. And this morning, we find ourselves at Vault 101, at least what's left of it. See, I was born inside Vault 101, born and raised, and our motto was born in the vault, live in the vault, and die in the vault. At least that was the motto until rad roaches tunneled in from below and infested the entire vault. At least portions of the vault still have power. The vault door is functioning properly. There is most likely going to be some radioactive waste here. No one has been kind of maintaining the nuclear power systems, so I'm sure it's quite a mess down here. And also, this place might still be infested with zombies, rad roaches, or any other number of foul creatures. There's a nice vault boy cardboard cutout there. I can place that somewhere in the base, and here we go. It's kicking off now. What do we got back here? Arlene to kick things off with. And it looks like there is uh, our first ghoul. Whoop, back here. Hold on a second. Luckily, he's not the radiated type of ghoul that you can't really get too close to, but they are still really tough. Oh, man, they are loaded with money, too. Nice. Speaking of money, we definitely should do a trader run. We're getting really low on it, and using the power armor radar, I can detect, you know, it, apart from just my ears, I can definitely tell that there are some zombies back here. Luckily, nothing I don't think I can handle. And I suppose while we have a minute, we can check these guys. We got some beer back there, but it's too early for drinking. All right, this sort of entry area seems to be pretty clear, and there's a ton of loot back here. And you know, I've heard rumors when I was here, I heard that we had a huge weapons cache, but I never did know where it was. I never did find it or... You know, they didn't tell us. They didn't tell me anything. I'm just like a lowly, lowly vault dweller, but uh, that's what I'm on the hunt for. I hear there's some good weapons here, and I am intent on finding them. Hey, there's a nice steel axe back here. That's pretty cool to have. And I'm kind of not in the mood for lockpicking right now. What do we got in this thing? Oh, perfect. Microfusion cells, and then the max charge variant of those, which will do a little bit more damage. Let's just load those in and kick things off with those. I got a, a, an even 50 there, so basically five magazines worth. Right, all clear back here. We press on, this place is huge. I'm imagining we're gonna be here all day and into the night. Here we go, open up these vault doors and immediately right into the radiation. Okay, did I bring, um, yes, here's the drone. The drone is going to have some food for us. If I can just lock onto it, it's, it's got a, <laughs> It's got a weird mechanism there. Oh, right, a little bit of loot in there left over. Let's just grab all of the bandages out and pack in some of this loot here. There we go, good enough for me. Get that rad Z going and just keep the bandages somewhere where I can see them as well as the painkillers and that that's helpful there. Do Are we thirsty? No, we're not. Save the Nuka-Cola for when we get thirsty. Okay, here we go. Now we're kind of on the clock. We've got to find the source of radiation. Oh my God, there's a whole bunch of zombies as well. Just get the shotgun out. We gotta move fast here. No time for melee. Whoop. Fast movers. Not too fast, though. Bunch of radiated whites. Okay, got two for one on that shot there. Arlene and... Close things out with the steel club, I guess. Okay, let's go, let's go. We gotta find the radiation source. Where is it? There's like a... A balcony, I guess, here? Okay, I'm gonna take the first door on the left. And we're heading upstairs. Just, um... Oh, jeez. Just get a bandage going for now, and hopefully we can find this pretty soon here. Another vault door. Whoop. Oh, there's the radiation right there. Here. Auger is going to be faster. I didn't really bring any fuel with me, though. That should be... We should be okay. We have enough in the tank to kind of get us by. I do have a small fuel tank mod on that thing. Okay. Take a deep breath. Um, take the ad free, I, I guess. I don't... <laughs> not really gonna carry that around on me. Whatever I was addicted to, I am no longer addicted to it. Okay, the good way to kick things off. Let's, um, let's slow down a little bit here now that we're relatively safe and search up some of these zombies. See if I can find any money or anything good on them. There's 396 dukes there. $606 there. Good enough for me. Okay, is there any good loot down here? I think that's the overseer's office up there. If I had to guess, I guess let's go back up the stairs where we just were and continue along this pathway, which I guess consists of perhaps just going straight to the overseer's office. 
Yep, server room in the back here. Not a whole lot of zombies so far. I figured this place would be a little bit busier. Perhaps we're just not in the right spot yet. Here we go, we got a bunch of feral soldiers. Pretty happy with that. I can take these guys with melee, no problem. And that guy was good for some nuka grenades. Although, I think those are kind of strong, so be careful if we decide to throw those, I guess. And this over here, oh, one of those good weapon cases. Okay, we'll open that up in just a second. Yeah, this is just a prison cell where we, you know, the holding tank, I guess, more like. Not a lot of crime in the vaults, but, you know, occasionally people have a little bit too much to drink on the weekend. There we go, we're in. Okay, so this is just the prison, so, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I don't imagine they had really great weapons here, and sure enough, it's a crowbar and a pitchfork, which honestly can just stay there. Hazmat boy over there, and that's a broken vault door. I'm not gonna claw through them. I checked earlier, 35,000 hit points. Oh, and that one's locked. Well, I, yeah, I guess I gotta figure out what's back there. Little bit of commotion outside. I just heard a landmine go off, you know, nothing out of the ordinary for the wasteland. But I am a little bit concerned. If I hear gunfire and stuff, I'm gonna have to zip out of here to see if the vertebrate's okay, because you never know. A bunch of mutants might walk by, some zombies in there, and um, start targeting the vertebrate, which would be a complete disaster. Also, if we hear just a massive explosion, we'll know that our ride home has been compromised. We'll have to probably walk in that case. Sometimes I open these doors, I hear something. It's like the mechanism turns, but it doesn't catch the door, so you gotta kind of hit it twice. Okay, that's the overseer's office right back there, though. Let's take care of business on these guys. Whoa, super vegetable stew inside bow there. Hopefully not inside. That would be kind of gross, but... Right. Okay, here's the control panel. Looks like, um... Let's see, green probably means that power is good, yellow probably means bad, and yeah, so... Bit of a mixed bag here on the power condition. Not surprising, these vaults are built to last indefinitely, but with no one maintaining them, things will degrade over time. Here we go, weapons of tomorrow. That's good for laser shotgun quality three. A couple of other magazines there. We're trying to get, I think it was 56 in energy weapons so that we can then craft a, oh, a safe. The plasma rifle, nuke quantum. Oh, this is like a searchable desk here. Three diamonds. Oh, the overseer had some had some drip in his dr his desk here. Jeez, overseer desk key. Okay, interesting. And another bobblehead. Is that is that it? I was expecting there to be some kind of a secret in here. Something behind some of the paintings, maybe. Doesn't appear that way. What about well. I don't really want to rip this down, but I will just out of curiosity see what's behind it. Are they hiding anything? Definitely not, unless they're, you know, bur buried behind. What is this anyway? Oh my god! That is the secret right there. Okay. Good to know about. Here we go. We're in. But I haven't found anything good in these before, so yeah. My expectations were low on that one anyway. Okay, so we know where that is. That's, that is gonna, I'm gonna save that one for last. First, I need to push further in here and see if there's anything else good that we can find. Let's try this way. Whoa, oh my God, that's one of those massive radiated whites down there. Oh my God, okay, and I'm getting, I'm now getting radiation. I need to get out of that. I'm trying to get away from it, but I can't. So um, take a rad Z. I think I'd already taken a Rad Z. I think I'm actually good on that front. Crap, so I wasted one. Here we go. Okay, give me to relative safety and a first aid kit, please. Okay, we're just gonna have to go and rush that guy. We've got the energy weapons. We're loaded on this front. I'll lead things off probably with a grenade if I can. Here we go. Okay, we're kind of on the clock now. Holy crap, there he is. He's a slow mover though. Okay, eat 10 rounds of that and that was enough. Wow. The prototype laser rifle there was plenty enough to kill him. It took the strongest ammo we had, but still got the job done. Okay, we just got a couple of his entourage members here. Oh, come on, man. Stop. Stop that. Stop it. Oh, my God. I can't kill this zombie for the life of me. Okay, we got plenty of hit points rolling in at this point. Extra lockpick there. So that goes down. We also have... A section over here. Okay, looks like a, maybe a laboratory with some lab zombies. Oh my goodness, it's just up and down and left and right. And it's been a while since I've been here, so I don't quite remember where everything is or where we're going, but 
I'm sure it'll come back to me. <laughs> Something about the radiation, man. It, it affects your memory. All right, what's back here anyway? A couple of, lots of rads in here. All that nuclear material to power this place, you know, when it's, oh, right back to the main room here. Right, okay, so that's good. Yeah, all this neglected nuclear material has really empowered some of these zombies. And again, with the radioactive material, guess we're gonna kind of plow through here just a little bit. Okay, maybe take a few steps back to safety. There we go. Oh yeah, these are armor penetrating, target penetrating rounds for the laser rifles. So that is nice to have. Okay, a couple bodies to search here. Electrical traps, blueberry pie. Right, back into the radiation. Okay, where is the tub, the vat, whatever it is? It seems like it's in this direction over here. Let's just, oh, that's the bathroom. Good to know if I get a little bit, if the, if the urge arises, right? Okay, this is the last door at the end of the hall. No, oh, no, I haven't seen it yet. Okay, okay, um, another first aid bandage. Oh, this place, this place sucks. No, I don't like it here. Must be on the other side, right through the men's bathroom. And, oh, first aid. Perfect, yes, give me some of that. I don't think I need the blood bags for anything right now, but we're getting colder in terms of finding that radiation source. It could potentially be on a different level, up or down, so yeah, just realized that maybe we are all set back here and we can proceed back where we came from, which was up that way. And I think we're heading down this way now. All oh, right, definitely haven't been through here before. Okay, what are we dealing with in here? Make sure we're locked and loaded. Ah, okay, bit of a bit of a battle took place here. That might be a rad roach carcass right there. On our left, we have. Arlene had also a couple of other zombies doesn't look like a massive threat over here though and take care of him and oh got some noise here yeah there I've definitely stirred up some activity somewhere but they're banging on like big metal doors so I'm not particularly worried about it there's a bit of a loot room right here though so I'll take a second to poke through here these containers often have like tool and mining stuff construction stuff so it's good to go through when i get back home i think i'll craft a new auger last night i did a whole bunch of mining got a whole bunch of metal and mostly also stone and i've stocked up all the forges with stone so that we can make some more cement to make more concrete mix to make more concrete shapes so that we can build the vertebrate landing pad hopefully i would say in a couple of days it's going to be a while for that one and this is a the one of the really good weapons cases here let's try this one a decent Henry shotgun. I guess I'll bring that with me. I do not need a rolling pin though. We're not baking cookies down here. Okay, we've got this door here. Let's check it. Okay, that wasn't too difficult. And what is <laughs> just a closet, I guess. Okay, here's where the real activity is though. I can see some radioactive ghoul mist around here. Right, just go ahead and open that right up and take care of business there. And we've got another couple in the back here. Just stick my shotgun through there. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Taking way too much damage. Get a first aid kit onto me. How's the Rad Z situation? It is not currently a situation. So get that rolling as well. Oh, this is like the heavy radiation. Here we go. Hold up, hold up. Get the good stuff out and reload it briefly. Hit points are still good. That's not it though. There's still one more. Oh my God, I could barely breathe. My eyeballs are on fire right now with radiation speaking of rip through that and we get a little bit of reprieve i can see more radiation and a power armor rack down at the end of the hallway there we're not in the clear yet there are several zombies according to the power armor radar that are behind this door here holy crap a lot of them there we go feral ghouls for dinner tonight it seems just oh, try not to shoot that medicine cabinet there i really want that there we go okay and we're thirsty. Perfect. Good time for some nuke, nuke quantum and some uh, blueberry pie, I guess, for a little snack. <sighs> okay, take a little bit of a breather here. I don't think these guys are... Oh, I didn't bring like a knife with me. I wanted to bring a knife so that we could start harvesting stuff more efficiently again. But I guess we have a decision to make. Is the fire axe the way we want to go with these guys? Or I didn't even get any meat off of that. So yeah, I guess I'll 
forego chopping up those guys. It's okay, I have tons. Like, I have like 15 or 17 or something scorpion fillets back home, so we'll be eating good no matter what. Uh, more radiation in the back here. Just, oh man, that new quantum really makes you move fast, doesn't it? Yep, just tear through this. Okay, so this area is not yet safe what's what, what's the hold up here ah back there yes next to the power armor right let's go over and knock that out there we go okay we've got a nice power armor stand here although i don't know that i really need oh white river power armor arms wow okay so that's like a legendary legendary piece of power armor installs into a power armor frame piece okay so what is so special about another one too a helmet wow Okay, so I might need to reconsider the blue armor that I'm wearing right now. I'll take the repair kits. I'll take the level six helmet frame, I think, and I'll have to check and see, is that an upgrade to any of the other frames here? The chest frame is a level four. Wait a minute. Nope, okay, so otherwise no upgrades. I'm not even gonna take those frames. Well, they're really valuable. I guess I will take those with me. I don't know that this place is mostly clear. I can't remember any areas that I might have skipped over. So I think we're going to head to the overseer's office and proceed down this way and see what kind of mysteries await us at the end of this hallway. I still have like one, a couple things on the power armor radar. I think the power armor radar is picking up zombies on the surface though. Let's make sure... We're all locked and loaded for any potential upcoming fights here. And oh my, look at this hallway. It just goes on like indefinitely. It goes on so far. I can't even see the end of it through the green mist. Okay, what do we have? Whoop. Do we have more more radiation? Is that is that radiation back there? I think it is. Okay, yes, we gotta take care of this. There we go. Safe. Yes. Okay, what was back here on the right? Oh my goodness, is this it? Is this the armory that I've heard about? Oh, it definitely is. Look at the stuff here. Whoa. Food supplies, ammo supplies, weapon supplies. What's back here? <gasps> the fat man. The, nu the mini nuke launcher and a whole bunch of storage cases back there. Okay, let me in here. Okay, we're in. Yes, we're finally going to get it. The fabled weapon. The weapon that we need to take out the storm raiders. The fat man. Nice. It, oh, wow. That looks cool. Okay, so that's going to launch nukes, which I don't know that I can craft those yet. There's one. Get it loaded. Ooh, okay, careful, careful. Don't shoot that thing. This also takes bowling balls. It's another ammo type for it. I've been collecting bowling balls in order to try that out. And we also have armor piercing nukes, which... I think, I think, doesn't like a regular nuke kind of like get the job done or do you really need the armor piercing component or what? And yeah, we're going to have an inventory problem here. Oh, and the drone's already pretty much full. All right, let me get this stuff organized and then also get everything unlocked and then we'll go through all of the loot. Okay, everything is unlocked and ready for looting. We'll start with the scraps up here, painkillers and antibiotics. Important stuff to have for sure, but definitely not what we came here for. What is this, by the way? This is the Overseer Exit Key. Okay, didn't I already have a key that I picked up from the desk upstairs? Yeah, the Overseer Desk Key. Key card needed to unlock the Overseer's hidden exit. Right click, oh, wait a minute, I should have read this earlier. Right click on the desk with this key card equipment to unlock it. Oh, okay. Well, my bad, what about this one over here? Hidden exit door. Okay, so something about using, well, I'll try to remember using that. There must be a, a way to get out of here back to the surface. Okay, let's get the weapons out of this. Ooh, the machine. Well, this machine kills zombies. The rifle does an extra 10% damage to zombies. Very cool. Let's take a quick peek at that and a tire iron. You know, I think I'm all set with that. Right, okay, so it's like a M1 Garand style. Not too bad. Oh, and it says right on the side, well, this machine kills zombies. Okay, I'll keep that in mind, especially maybe on Horde Night, where I can kind of burn through some of the 762, and we'll pull whatever ammo we can out of these things. These things are usually great sources of ammo. Okay, a few more odds and ends to go through. Wow, look at that medicine cabinet there. Very nice. Nuka-Cola over here. And more of the same throughout. Tons of ammo here. Okay, I've done my, my best to haul as much loot out of here as possible. I think we're all set at this point. Let's proceed down this way. 
Oh man, more stuff on the way out. Hopefully, oh, steel tool parts. That is extremely important for us to have so that we can repair the pickaxe. Oh, and some really nice steel chest armor. Uh, mostly just for selling, I guess. Man, I guess I'll take it. Okay, and now we should be getting into a situation where we use this key card here, or this access badge, to get, uh, oh, right here. Oh, I could just pick it open or we just unlock it. Ah, oh, cool. And is this just a false door here? It is. Oh, and this is right back at the very beginning. Wow. I guess, I guess we're done here. All clear. I have done it. I have cleared out Vault 101. Although, quite honestly, I prefer living on the surface. So I think we're good here. Let's get out of here and check on the vertebrate. See if it's still here. I didn't hear any explosions topside. So I'm confident that no one made their way to the top. That's why I kind of didn't want to park down here and get it destroyed. Yeah, it's actually very quiet up here. All right, let's hop in the bird. I did clip a tree or two on the way here. So <laughs> we are suffering from some slight damage. Whoop, just just turn and around that tree there. Nice. And um, I want to do a quick flyby of the Storm Raider compound because that's coming up soon. And now that we have the Fat Man, we'll see if we can get some nukes for it. And I think that the Storm Raider compound is perfect for the Fat Man nuke launcher because we can kind of lob a couple of nukes in there and set the whole place on fire. So I'm going to do a quick flyby just to kind of scout out that strategy and we'll head back to the base after that all right here is the place we already set a partial fire to the fence and it doesn't look like they've gotten around to repairing that just yet but yeah look at all these wooden structures in here we are gonna light this place up it's gonna be great look they've got hydrogen storage tanks they are working on that like airship over there they've got all kinds of fuel tanks in here wow okay yeah we're gonna blow this place to smithereens all right, I think I'm about done for the day. Let's head back home and get the inventory offloaded and we'll probably have to spend some time mining tonight. We're out of gas. Crap. Oh, no, 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 no. This is bad. It's very bad. Okay, just get out. Just get out. Okay, so we made a bit of an emergency landing there and um, it, it nothing exploded. So that's nice. Jeez, man, <laughs> that, that was terrifying. Can I um, just see the inventory real quick? See if there's any, do we have any gas? We don't have any gas. I guess I'm walking home. All right, we're back at the base and we're fending off just a little mini soft regular zombie horde. Shouldn't be any big deal here. In fact, I'm killing like two or three zombies per shotgun round at this point. So easy peasy. In fact, why don't we just spin everything up while we're right here? And I often just deal with the stragglers by jumping on down here and doing it in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Just the easier way to go about it, in my opinion. <laughs> Look at this pile of zombies down here. I love it. Okay, so I'm pretty much reset and good to go here. Let's just check the inventory. Yeah, I was just kind of working on getting the drone packed back up again. But there is something that I need to discuss with you guys, and that is... So... Not last night, because we were in Vault 101 last night. Oh no, it was, technically it was last night. So not tonight, but last night. I went and did some mining over there, and I brought home some iron and some stone, and that's been smelting into the forge all day. But while I was doing that, I had a memory. And that was when I left the Navtech Research Center, and I went home to get the nail gun so that we could repair the incubator, I saw that there was a weapon in, like, hidden in a room, kind of in the back. And I figured we'd just kind of scoop that up on the way out. I wanted to just focus on getting the nail gun coming back and proceeding with that kind of train of thought right there. But then when I was mining last night, I realized that I'd forgotten that. So I went back to the facility to get that. And I did. So there's a special weapon waiting for us at the base. And Johnny is either in the bathroom or otherwise he's just gone. Hannibal Vexer here came sprinting in after me. I don't know. We're just going to keep an eye on the shop, I guess. Okay, so <laughs> scratch that. We're not checking on Johnny today. Right, anyway, so let's go back to the base and I'll show you what I picked up. The, the thing is, when I went back there like early, early in the morning yesterday, I forgot to turn my body cam on and so we have no 
footage of me going back to that facility and scooping up. It was just like some ammo, but there was that special weapon. So a bit of a goof on my part. It's not like it was a critical game changer, but I just wanted to show you what that was. It was a minigun just kind of sitting there on a table. And so I scooped that up. It's a level six, by the way, and it takes five, five, six. So let's give this a bit of a test run. First of all, what does this thing look like? Oh my, it's just a big honking. I mean, that puts the drum in drum mag more like a keg mag right okay well let's give it a little bit of a test shot here oh yeah that's nice i like that <laughs> imagine this on horde night oh it's great and i'm out of ammo and right, i'm just having a look here to see if i could make yes the nukes we can make nukes we can make a lot of nukes too look at this we could make 17 i don't know that i need that many what's what are we working with here just basically steel and the nuclear material which i've harvested a ton of that let's make nine and that'll make an even 10 for the assault on the Storm Riders over there. Storm Raiders. Also picked up a couple of decorations here. We got another one of these bobbleheads, which... Kind of running out of places to put all these things. Oh, this one is centered, which is quite inconvenient here. Just set them down there, I guess. And we got a couple of these cutouts, which is great. We're going to put one there. And... I think that's okay for now. Look into getting a better shotgun crafted because I did... Oh, an auto shotgun. Right. I did want to get an auto shotgun for our mutant companion. So start working on that. And there was also... Yes, I could make a better... Oh, not the laser shotgun. We don't want the laser shotgun because it has such a low capacity, only two shots. But the combat shotgun on the other hand, is a lot better, and I could make, I think it was, no, I haven't gotten another level on that yet. That is a big bummer. Well, in that case, let's make a trader run. All right, we have returned to the multi-trader compound. Man, you guys got to clean this stuff up. It's starting to stink down here. Well, I did bring a ton of sellables with me. In fact, ah, uh, geez, everyone is just clamoring to trade with me today. I did, I uh, brought our mutant companion with us today. He's carrying the Spice Lord. He's carrying a lot of stuff for me, so just sit tight there, buddy. In fact, just uh, gonna tell you to stay where you are standing, because if they move around too much, sometimes they just kind of jet off, you know, to the surface. So, Trader Bob, let's do some business today. We're gonna sell off as much as we can here today. We'll sell off everything, and then we'll see if we can buy any magazines. A couple key magazines that we're in the market for. Okay, and we're all sold out on Trader Borg here, but that made us a ton of money. We're up to like 77,000, so we had to sell off the rest to someone else. Okay, who's my second favorite trader here? I guess it's going to be Trader Rex. <laughs> Just kidding, it's definitely not you. It's Trader Jen. Okay, and with that, we've made it up to 85 grand, man. We are swimming in cash here. So now I just need to go through all the inventories and buy whatever I'm interested in. Ooh, power armor enhanced gyros. That allows you to run faster and use less stamina. Definitely taking that. And we have a plasma boosted emitter schematic over here. This is installed into a plasma weapon to increase the magazine size. I'll get that in anticipation of hopefully soon being able to craft the plasma rifle. Thanks and otherwise, visit. I think we're pretty we're much good here. Thank good you very much, everybody. Whoop, Stranger. Spice Lord, I've you're coming with me. And let's immediately install the, the gyro thing onto my boots if I can. Yep, I have an extra mod slot there. I don't, it doesn't, I don't think it tells me, does it, how much that's doing. We're just gonna have to, you know, eyeball it. Whoops, extra bandage, just in case. In case I fall down, trip over or something while I'm running extra fast here. I, I can notice a little bit of a difference, maybe 5 or 10%. It kind of feels like wearing a college jacket or something. So we got a little bit of a speed boost there. And um, otherwise, it just got some, like, some books. There's a Home of Tomorrow Volume 3. This is unlocking statues for crafting. I figured I'd just get that. Five into tools, seven into shotguns, and two into explosives, and I'll probably have to go recraft everything that I just made back at the base. Okay, so, uh, not interested in raiding or anything. Really, all I want to do now is make sure that we have the resources for tomorrow, because we're going to do the vertebird slash parking garage thing construction project first thing in the morning. Okay, and we're back to the vertebird. What a disaster that almost became. Really not that bad, but... Uh, I, I figured that was going to just explode on impact with the ground. Hopefully I don't cause it to explode by tipping a tree over onto it. That, that one just didn't even tip over. <laughs> just evaporated. 
Okay, yep, 43% on it, although I think it only takes like two repair kits, basically, to get that fixed up, and I put my repair kits into the drone. Repair, that brings it up to about 80-90% uh, there, and refuel, oh, it does take a ton of fuel, that was like 7,000, and we didn't, we got up to 62%. Okay, well, we need to go buy some more gas, still got a slight bit of fire going on, someone get the WD-40 out for the rotors, please. Okay, and I can show you, oh! By the way, typically when I try to fly with the, the, like the Radcats or the Brotherhood of Steel guys, the guys with the power armor, this is what happens. You see how the vertebrae just kind of jerks around here and there? That's, it's been an issue before. I almost crashed one time doing that. Luckily, I was able to get down safely, but yeah, we're just not allowed to fly, I guess, with, with any companions. It's very, very risky. Low altitude, short trips seem to be okay, but I sure as heck wouldn't fly over to Vault 101 like that. Spice Lord, you gotta stay in my pocket if we're gonna do that again. But here's where the expansion project is gonna be. I'm gonna take these spotlights here and there off, and we're gonna build a big extension out in that direction, easterly. And if we looked at it from like a bird's eye view here, imagine this coming out like, like so and forming a bit of a T-shape for like a bird's eye view of the base. And we'll have a drive, Psh, massive storm just rolled in in like three seconds. We'll have a, oh my, <laughs> Spice Lord, watch out for the rotors, man. Why don't you just get in my pocket for a little while? Right, so there will be a ramp going up into a parking area, which is level with this here. And then there will be a vertebrate landing pad on the roof. I'll even pull up a diagram of the blueprints that I drew up a couple of nights ago so that you can see kind of like the rough sketch of what we'll be building tomorrow morning. But in order to get that project done or even started, we're going to need a lot more stone, stone, and basically more stone. But I should really see if I can get a better auger before I do that. Okay, I'm going to head back to the base. I'll meet you down in the stone mine over there, though. All right, I got a new auger crafted, level four, in fact. But I figured let's go big or go home and come over here right, because there's B-dubs treasure, which is right here. And let's see if we can just dig this up safely. I think we're pretty much out of range of the compound over there, so we should be good. Here it is, though, level four auger. Let's just start ripping in here and see if we can find this treasure. The last time we dug up a B-dubs treasure, it gave us Aramis's crossbow, which turns out it's a really good weapon to have, especially with the exploding crossbow bolts. Oh, and I found it almost immediately. B-dubs hidden stash. Let's rip in. All right, here we go. B-dubs hidden stash. Good for Lincoln's repeater. Like Abraham Lincoln? That's crazy. Hits harder and can penetrate multiple targets as well as dismember them and has variable zoom on the iron sights. Wow, okay. Weapons of Tomorrow and otherwise pretty pretty run-of-the-mill stuff there. Let's take a look at Lincoln's Repeater. And that probably takes the 44 Magnum. Oh, it's fancy. I might start using that a little bit. Why not? And while I'm down here, we need stone. So I'm going to dig a big stone tunnel. Yeah, I think that does it for me. Quite a little cavity I've dug under here. And zombies keep dropping in and messing things up. So I'm out of here. Right, got a couple of stacks of stone there. And I just fueled up the R75 and the Vertibird. And I am left with 900 gas. So I guess we got to go over to the trader at some point. Maybe when Johnny gets back, we'll go check with him and see if we can buy another stack of gas. I put the auto shotgun on our mutant companion here. And apart from the very dangerous front arm positioning... <laughs> I'd say that's going to be a big upgrade. Energy weapons were so close to unlocking a level one plasma rifle. It's really important that we get those last three magazines. So for the remainder of the night, I'm going to head out on a solo mission to see if I can find some of those. I don't even know where to get those. It seems like you get those out of the vault tech containers pretty reliably. Let's maybe just do a quick flyby of some portions of the city here and see if we can find anything that seems to fit the bill. Oh, right. Over here by the Navtech Research Center, there were a couple of other radiated POIs like this one right here at the Shotgun Messiah shooting range. I think this is a possible candidate. Let's let's dip down here and find out. I mean, you'd think a place like a Shotgun Messiah would have some energy weapon magazines, so... Oh, a little bit of radiation, that's fine. Just trying to bring it down nice and safe right over here. That's about as good of a parking job as I've ever done right there. Okay, so I did see the radiation on the way in. It's just on the rooftop over here. Can I clamber my way up here? I sure can. 
and rip into this. Oh, that's the other thing. With the upgraded auger, we can dig through the radioactive material a lot faster. And we can just dig through everything else a lot faster as well. Who's in here? Hello, Mo. <laughs> Did you see how he like came up to the door and was like, where is he? Okay, and that should be clear for the front of the place here. So are we going to get magazines out of things like this? I don't think so. This is just... Ah, bullet casings. I have like 4,000 of those energy weapon parts, so we're kind of on the right pathway there. Junk I bought and a level 6 cattle prod. I was just looking at the cattle prod. That's a part of like, you know, the stun baton crafting chain there, but it's like the end of the crafting chain, so that's literally like the best energy weapon you can possibly make or get. Alright, what's in here? By the way, how fast can I rip into this? Oh, uh, it's a little bit slow actually. I'll keep doing it all the same. And oh, look at that, a level three combat shotgun. That's awesome. I looked, I can only craft a level two currently. So that's a bit of a boost for us. Let's switch that over immediately and see. Nope, that does not give me the extra mod slot though. So we're still waiting on a higher level one. Maybe a level four will have that fourth mod slot for us. Is there a bookshelf back here? Nope, I think we're pretty much clear back here. Let's grab that gun store box and there's some other bits and pieces to go through here, but I'm not particularly interested. The good stuff is over here. Just scoop up this ammo here and then we'll get into the big fight. Well, this is like the, the pre-big fight over here, so take care of these miscellaneous zombies here. Big Mama's taking an interesting path to me. Whoa, look out. Oh, everyone seems to have converged at the same time. Whoa, hang on a second. There we go. I love how this weapon just sets zombies on fire somewhat randomly. Okay, the real fight's back here. Just get that loaded since I, you know, just switched over to it. All right. Wait a minute. Are there no zombies here? Where are the zombies? Ah, here they come. All right. Oh, I just barely missed that one. Whoa, okay. Lots of zombies all of a sudden, including feral ghouls. All right, let's see if I can kite them into that one. Hey, take that. That was perfect. All right, taking some radiation. I'm not sure if that's like, I guess I, I would call it soft radiation if it was just a zombie, but hard radiation if it was like nuclear material that needed to be carved up. And yeah, I think it was soft radiation from a ghoul. A couple of them, in fact. Get back. I don't want to have to take any more Rad Z today. Stuff gives me a wicked hangover. I wonder if that's one of the things that you can get addicted to and you have to take the ad-free addiction medicine to get over it. Ooh, treasure map in that guy. Did that happen to be a B-dubs treasure? Because those are awesome. Nope, Nicole's probably not as good. Oh, we got more radiation here. All right, I think I'm ready to just hop in here. Gonna need some first aid though for sure. Are we good now? Looking pretty good. I don't see any more like hard radiation around here anywhere. I think we're pretty much free to get the loot. Is this old police wreck? Okay, it doesn't, this one's not repairable though. So we'll see if we can get anything off of it in terms of parts. Got a, I think it was a light bar. Light bar or a bumper off of it. Who's left around here? Here we go. Ah, oh, a whole bunch of rads right around the corner here. And a couple more around the end. These guys must have just broken out of something. And we're good. Let's loot up. All right, we'll start in the ammo pile over here. Random bits of ammo, shotgun magazines, some cryolator cells. Still no sign of a cryolator anywhere. And nope, I think we're going to get skunked. Not no, None of the books that we're looking for here. Okay, so massive bust on this one. We didn't even really get any good loot out of here, did we? So, all right, let's just get out of here. We'll call it a night. I think we'll head back to the base and just get ready for the construction project tomorrow. Make sure that the resources are rolling in and that we're making concrete shapes. Oh, hello there. Got a bunch of zombies. Is this a horde running in here or what? Oh my! Whoa, just... Something blew up there and I, for a split second I thought it was the vertebrate. Okay, <laughs> I think it is a horde here. But I can't really see what's going on, and I'm afraid for the vertebrates conditioning, so... I don't know, I don't know. I think I'm done for the night. I'm gonna head home and get everything organized for construction tomorrow. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me on this adventure, and I will see you first thing tomorrow morning. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.